This video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu University. This Sunday, July, I believe 26, 6 p.m., we're going to have a webinar, How to Turn an Established LLC into an S-Corp Holding Company. There are many of you who have come to me and like, hey, you know, can I turn my established LLC into a holding company? And the answer is yes, you can. But there is a certain format, a certain level of sequences that you must go through to properly do this. All of this will be addressed and you can go ahead and uh, participate, the, w participate in the webinar hitting the link below. So with that, let's get to the video. Like I said, I had a heart attack not too long ago. I didn't lose anything. I had money coming in while I was in the hospital confused out of my mind. I had money coming in. Money coming in while I was sick and on my back. Money coming in. This is the power of a business. I don't, I don't know if I can impress that on you enough, but I'm sick. I had a heart attack. Uh, I had to be incubated. I had a stroke. And I had money coming in while I was flat on my back in the hospital. I am about to scare the living crap out of you. You're going to need money 20 to 40 years longer than your parents. Babies born in these years or will be expected to live 100 years. I want you to think about that. Because, you know, I've been talking about why you need to start a business and why you need a perpetual business for a long, long time. And many people are not hearing me. You're going to live much longer than previous generations and getting old is going to get expensive. This is one of the reasons you need to get off of your butt, start a business. I don't care if it takes you 10 years so you can have some money when you old. I mean, right now there's a bunch of people who are living on the streets because they don't have enough money and they're young. You have an average life expectancy of 85 to 90 years old today. With medical advances, people are living much, much longer and they're running out of money. They're living in trailer parks. They're living in RVs. And right now, if you are a young person, you're in your 20s and your 30s, you have a great opportunity to get way ahead of the curve if you get out of your own way. Because, you know, I hear all this stuff, but I don't want to start a business. I don't want the responsibility. Do you want to be old with no money? Because this is one of the things that I look at because, you know, even though I've had some health issues, I'm probably going to live 85 to 90 years old. I might even crack 100. And I'm not going to be some poor old person. This is a huge, huge problem. There are many old people who did the right things, put money away, paid off their houses, and they got into medical crisis or certain uh, standard of living issues, and it turned on them. And the only way that you're gonna be able to maximize your money from a tax advantage is to start a business. So what I'm gonna do is part of this uh, educational training is I'm gonna open up the framework. And the framework is things you need to do to start your business that no one talks about. Because audience development is so important. Audience development for Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and your business are essential. This is why some people just take off because they've got the audience development on lock. But you're gonna need to create a business that you can run for 50, 60, 70 years. Or better yet, create a business that you get to the point where it takes little management and you 80 years old collecting a big check because you're gonna live, you know, middle age is gonna be 65 in a few years. Middle age is going to be 65. And right now, I want you to look at you know, I'm 52, I look at some of my friends, and I can tell that they're having issues because they don't have any money. Money, 
a very important part of this whole dynamic. And you will need to collect some because what you're going to need is a business and you're going to need some assets that throw off cash. One of the primary things that you, you got to get going on, you got to get yourself some assets, the business which creates the cash to buy more cash producing assets. I, I, I'm trying to wake you guys up because old age is going to be here quicker than you think. It's going to roll up on you. In 12 years, I'll be 64 years old. And these 12 years are going to fly by. And let me tell you my plan. One of the reasons that I am sticking to intellectual property is for the next 10 years, it is my goal to create new educational property every year for the next 10 years. And with a big push this year, because the Dominant Man course is doing amazingly, and I'm going to bring on some other courses con probably concurrently uh, with the framework. Because the framework is before you start any business, you need to know who you're selling to, how many people are in that group, and is the market growing or dying? And there are many people who start a business who don't do this and they fail and they don't understand the marketplace. So the framework, the link is below. Uh, the course has got some content and I'll be adding more. One of the things that you've got to understand is time is brutal. Time is a beautiful thing or time is brutal. Depending upon what you do, how you set yourself up. And once again, to my people 20 some, to my people 30 some, to my people 40 some, you guys need to get busy. You know, you want to go off and hang out on vacation land, in, uh, in you know my Florida and you want to you want to use a lot of your economic bullets that you could be using to start a, a business and spend the next one to four years starting this business you want to keep playing and I'm, I'm here to tell you it's going to catch up with you like me not having my high blood pressure check caught up with me I thought that was good because I was working out twice a day halfway eating right once again this this is your BP check for your finances because I'm telling you, even if you are not a spendthrift, even if you're putting money away in your 401k, you put money away in stocks, more than likely, it's not going to be enough for you to continue to have the standard of living that you're currently enjoying. I have a very high standard of living that I refuse to uh, downplay. Because, you know, once again, when I had my heart attack, my... My girlfriend didn't really know the extent of my finances because we never really sat down and talked about it. So after I got the hospital and everything, she was just like, well, what about this? I was like, oh, that's paid for. That's paid off because I don't have a lot of bills. I don't have car payments. I don't have a credit card payments and I keep cash in the bank and I have cash coming in every month. So I'm going to maintain that lifestyle. I'm not going to be, you know, because her whole thing was like, maybe you need to just chill. I'll, I'll get a house. And, you know, because she makes like $120,000 a year. And I was like, I'm staying here. I'm staying in the millionaire neighborhood. You know, because she's like, we can sell the house. We can move into a less expensive place. Because see, her thing is, because she grew up poor and she had some very hard financial struggles. She's always looking at financial security, which is part of female her, her burgundy. And when she, you know, she's like, found out what I had in the bank. She's like, whoa, you know, I can live years without working and getting any more money. And part of this, and I want you to enjoy that. I want you to know what that feels like. And you ain't going to get to where I'm at sitting on your butt, hoping and wishing and playing around. We've had this conversation before. Y'all guys have got to get busy because time is moving. You're going to be old before you know it. Like, I, I, I am very much very real about aging. 12 years, I'm going to be 64 years old. 24 years, I'm going to be 70. And... I am keeping this lifestyle, which means I'm going to get, have to make some more cash. I'm going to have to get some more assets because 
One of the things that you don't want to be is one of these people who had to sell your house, move into your truck, because this is the thing that people are doing now. Old people are migrant workers. They're going where the jobs are. They're living in vans. There's a number of people living in vans and living in RVs. And one guy, he was able to escape because he got himself a nice RV. And he goes around following drops seasonally. And I, I'm gonna ask you this question. If you have a chance to prevent this, this is the information that I'm giving you. I mean, a lot of you wanna start businesses in a few weeks and be making big money. The reality of that is it's not gonna happen. But a few years in proper money management, because once again, you need to get the money management course insert money management course here. This money management course is gonna teach you how to manage your money, how to stack your money, how to set up your personal finances like a business so you keep accountability of your personal finances. This is something you need to do before you start your business. Because once you start your business, if you're not careful, that business money is going to creep into lifestyle. You're going to go out and get yourself a Benz. I did it. When I, I, I went out and spent $55,000 on a brand new BMW. And it was all the money I had. But fortunately for me, I, I had high income and I had more money coming in in a matter of days. But most folks are rolling like that. So, you know, the sooner you get on this path of business building, you know, because right now, Time is great to start an offline business. Time is great to start an online business. You, you gotta do it because you're gonna get old. If this doesn't motivate you, being an old person, living worse than you live in now, I want you to think, if you are struggling right now, imagine that struggle when you're 25 years old. Imagine that struggle. I mean, seriously, I ain't playing with y'all. You got to get on it. You got to start building. You got to start putting together these income stream and asset class now. You got to start planning for it because one of the things that is so unto, you know, not talked about is the effect of aging upon your work performance. Uh, like I said, I had a heart attack. And I think one of the reasons I was able to bounce back is I was working. Everybody wants to retire, sit down, do nothing, and have the option to get up and do nothing and do whatever they want to do. That's not a realistic expectation because one of the reasons I think that I bounced back so quickly from the heart attack was my body was used to working. My body was used to repairing itself from the two-day workout. My body was conditioned to repair itself because I was working. So by you sitting around being a lazy bum, a lazy good for nothing, a bumble clot, you could be setting up yourself for failure if you have a health event because you have not prepared your body for work and repair. It could literally kill you early by being lazy. Speaking as someone who had a, you know, they call it what I had was the widow maker. I had a complete blockage. And I've come back from that in a matter of weeks. Look, the future will be here before you know it. The older you get, the faster that time flows by, the faster that time takes off, the faster that time presents itself. Remember when we were a kid and it used to take forever for Christmas to come. Now, I was like, ah, oh, Christmas is here again. Wow, it's already here, it's already here. That's just gonna get faster the older you get. A year is gonna pass so quick when you get old. And right now, while times are good, you need to be building. You need to be stacking. You need to be on your chips. You need to be making it do what it do. Because if you don't, I'm telling you, I see these cities in the future. I see these walled cities where the rich people, 
productive people, the people with money. They live in the city. Everyone else lives out in the badlands, like Mad Max. I see that. Right now, you're seeing neighborhoods with, you know, you're gonna see neighborhoods with walls around. It's coming. You're gonna see that the, the half class, because I think there's just two classes, those who have what you want, those who don't, they're gonna be living a good life while you out there in the bad lines chasing scorpions, stirring up some scorpion stew. Because right now, we have a large percentage of the population that is homeless and living in vans. Right now, today, 2019, we have a lot of people who are homeless are living in vans and living in cars. And it's going to get worse because of the stratification of income. If you don't have a business, if you are not trying to get wealthy, you will be in trouble. And what the legacy that you're gonna leave your kids is a legacy of mediocrity and poverty. Right now, kids who grew up middle class are growing up poor, or are becoming poor as adults because the system has changed. The system isn't what it used to be. Manufacturing base is gone. And once again, you need to be productive. Because I'm telling you, I remember one of my neighbors, she said, man, you live long enough, you're gonna get old. That is one of the truest things I ever heard. Because, you know, I still look good. I still don't look my age. But the reality is, one day I'm going to wake up and look at the mirror, and I'm going to look my age. Or I'm going to be substantially older. You know, I might be 70 and I'll look like I'm 60. That, that's coming. It's coming for me. And it's coming for you. So, I was watching this thing about homeless people, and this girl she's conditioned herself that being homeless was better than working a job. And she's delusional and she doesn't have personal pride because she's like, you know, I live a minimalist lifestyle. Because minimal, minimalism has taken off, not out of people who have made the choice. I'm gonna be a minimalist. You don't have enough money to live the life you want. So this is why you pick minimalism. I'm like, I'm gonna be a minimalist. You didn't pick it, you didn't pick being the minimalist. Minimalist being the minimalist picked you. Because you don't have no money. You can't live the way you want to live. I consider myself a person that I don't have a lot of material stuff that I don't need. Because I don't go out and just buy stuff to buy stuff, but I buy stuff for practical reasons. But I'm telling you, if you want to enjoy life, you need money. I know the poverty pimps out there, the poverty movements, we don't need no money to be happy. Keep believing that. Keep believing that because the lack of money has produced so much unhappiness. Tell me, when Robert F. Smith paid off those dude student loans, that money bought a lot of happiness. It was like, whoa, party over here. I don't have no student loan debt no more. They were happy as mugs, and money bought that happiness. Uh, for those of those people who disagree with me, like, you don't need money to be happy, try living with no money. Try living in a van. Try living in a van with no heat while you're freezing. Let's see how happy you are with no money. Money produces happiness. Money produces comfort. Money matters. And all of you people who keep acting like it don't, you're going to be called out in the cold unless you are attached to somebody who believes that money matters and breaks you off some. Because the reality is, the United States of America is going through a big change. A friend of mine, we used to have this conversation, there cannot be two Americas in the world. Because, you know, with our high level of consumption and stuff, and our higher income, even our poor people have higher incomes than the rest of the world as a standard. Our poor people, and I'm talking about folks who living in the hood, living in the ghetto, are living a princely life compared to people in Africa and certain parts of Asia who have issues getting clean drinking water. They got clean drinking water. They got cable. They got takeout. They got they got an eye. They got the eye watch. The Apple Watch. They're just poorer than the folks who have. So listen to me. 
I want you to embark with me. I'm going to produce this educational content to change your life, to make it easier for you to figure some stuff out. Because I've already figured some things out. I've already been down this path. And I want to leave you the breadcrumbs and the details and the blueprints to build something. Because you can build an offline business. You can build an online business. And don't follow what everyone else is doing. You know, like, I'm a content creator, I'm a course creator. If that's your path, that's something that's a natural proclivity to you, cool. But if you're just going to do it because Glenn and Cameron's doing it, and you, you don't really give a damn about this stuff, uh, they ain't going to work for you. They ain't going to work for you. Because, once again, I did a video of people copying folks without knowing the secret sauce, without knowing the recipe. Like, take Erica Williams. Erica Williams used to be a student of mine and she's charted her own course. She got houses, she got trucks. She's charted her own path. She didn't do it Glenn and Cameron. She did an Erica Williams. You need to do an Erica Williams. You need to chart your own path and get you some damn money. Because sooner or later, the reality of where you are in East United States of America are going to catch up with you. And you know, for these folks who, who don't believe money matters, Keep believing that. Let's see how much it matters when you're 75 and you need a kidney transplant. You're going to need some money. You're going to want some money. So, once again, go below. I will be putting together the framework course simultaneously with the dominant man. Like I said, I'm about to go into creation jag. A lot of content to tone people up. A lot of information is about to be forthcoming because I'm going to do this from now into December. I'll probably take the last two weeks of the year off. But you guys have got to get busy. And I'm gonna give you some of the tools you need to help you. Because a lot of y'all need to get on the Hustler LLC, the art of holding companies. Right now, that is an uh, atypical thing. When you get the art of holding and you go into a bank and they're like looking at you, but that's going to be normal because once the education is out, people are like, oh, this is how you do it. This is how you set up a company. This is how you protect yourself. And if you're a single man, what you waiting on? You can go ahead and set, set yourself up to protect yourself from future angry baby mothers if you act now. Don't be like the dude that the horse has already left the barn. Now we're closing the gate. And they gloomy. What you got for me, man? What you got for me? You need to make more money, bro. You on that child support. Pay your child support and make enough money where it don't matter. That's what you need to do. Because I'm telling you, what's coming, what's here, we're, we're in the recession right now. And when it starts really rolling, because right now people are losing jobs every day. People are late on their credit card bill. People are late on their car note. And car notes are typically the last thing that people are late on. They'll be late on their mortgage for them, late on their car note, because their car is what gets them to work to get their money. And they know it takes a while for them to foreclose on the house. So, adopt the my hustler's mindset today. Go ahead and skill yourself up and begin working on your business. Because I'm going to tell you, as a business owner, life is easier than weather. Like I said, I had a heart attack not too long ago. I didn't lose anything. I had money coming in while I was in the hospital, confused out of my mind. I had money coming in. Money coming in while I was sick and on my back. Money coming in. This is the power of a business. I don't, I don't know if I can impress that on you enough, but I'm sick. I had a heart attack. Uh, I had to be intubated. I had a stroke. And I had money coming in while I was flat on my back in the hospital. If that don't impress you, I don't know what, I don't know anything else I can say. Because typically, someone with a debt-loaded lifestyle, this could have took them out. Could have been the one card that's knocked down the whole deck of cards because they had too much debt and they were unable to work and one of the reasons I came back early because a lot of people was wondering where's Glendon there ain't no videos what's going on and I appreciate the concern but I'm back now 
And if you want to live your best life, you need to start a business. So with that, I will see you guys after we roll this wonderful commercial. Today, business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel, they'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned when I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, let's see, let me go ahead and do that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've just designed is for you to go through this pathway because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you will do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance that is not what we're going to have so we're going to go here and we're going to go under all right so this is where you start this is the uh, blueprint first thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset pipping your mind for success that's your free audio book that's where you're going to start getting that mind correct then you're going to move to this money management the basics of finance and wealth development before you get new money you must optimize the money you already have if you as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning if you don't manage a little bit of money well you're not going to manage a lot of money well it's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money and never learned how to compartmentalize, how to do the five checking account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. Now, I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked the a console because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, Becoming the Boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you'll take. And one of the things that I've done is I priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. 
Uh, the courses are so economical. All right, this is what you're gonna get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course. Uh, the Power of Six Productivity Course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's gonna be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done. How to, what's a priority, what's not priority. This course will do it for you. All right. So the field course you will get scripted days. This is a life changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits. It will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual. A lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days for 2500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had A, a business, or B, a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resell. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead. You know, if you have a business owner, if you go through because 30 days to 2,500, is a long course it's going to take you about two months to go through it but it'll be well worth it because in these months you're going to learn stuff it's going to open up your eyes it's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business all right uh the seventh course will be asking for the money how to be an uber salesperson now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponic book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People be like, man, sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner, but 
essentially taking those lessons derived from that course, you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't gonna buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me, uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This, like, well, if Linda thinks it's so cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself you need to um believe in yourself mike ellie this ain't no theory this ain't no theory man these courses have come from my business experience there is no theory here made a hundred bucks for a few hours see once you go through this transformation once you get that first good sale that first blow the money it becomes addictive it becomes very addictive now what i'm gonna do for the you know starting next week there's gonna be a lot of new training so i'm going to do a video probably sunday or monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just, you're not gonna get the best use of the money. You, you need to learn how to hold on to money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um, the, the new stuff. But the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2500 and asking for the sale those only courses for business owners now, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff uh, beginning business person so once again just go ahead you know if you're brand new to the channel just found this welcome thank you appreciate you um this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner, so it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15K and spent it all. People, that thirst, you know, that, that, that thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff, you want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. This, what I, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, there's got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glennon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. Where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So 
So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses, then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.